Hello everyone, it's Mel, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator here in Australia. So, with the new catalogue drop-in now, um, there's lots of exciting things in here. And on page 143, you will find this beautiful, delicious gift bag that they did a sample of. And whoever came up with that and did it is just a genius, because I think it's really pretty and very very nice and I liked it so much that I went and bought the Falling Flowers stamp set and the Mayflower dies that match in it or in with it um, because I wanted to do something similar so I cased that gift bag and I came up with this card right here and a little gift box made with the window box thinlets opens up like that that's the top it's got the flower the two dragonflies vellum and gold um, glimmer paper so today I thought together if you'd like we can do the card it's also using a brand new stamp set that you will find in this catalogue so let's not wait anymore let's get to it okay let's go okay so to start with we'll do some die cutting and some stamping so we will need Let's do our stamp in. We need a um, scrap piece of very vanilla and we need our soft suede ink pad. And from the Mayflowers stamp set, which is what we're going to be using, we're going to use this image. And what we're going to do is ink it up in our soft suede. And we're going to stamp it twice. We're going to use both images. So we'll just stamp and then stamp it off just like that so we've done that stamp in what we might do now is bring in our big shot yes we'll bring our big shot in and we'll do some die cutting okay so I've got my big shot I've got my magnetic platform and what we're going to do is we're going to die cut the images we just stamped, which is that one. Okay, so we'll pop them in, die cut the stamped off image, just line that up as best I can. Hopefully my big head isn't sticking in the way. Okay, and then what we need to do while we've got this is some soft suede scrap piece of paper. We're going to cut out two of the leaves. So we'll run them through. We need two of the leaves so we'll pop that one over and we'll do that and we'll die cut this soft suede full soft suede stamped image okay so we've got our two oh, drop in everything We've got our two flowers and we'll pop them aside for now. We've got our two leaves as well. So we'll pop them aside for now as well. And what we want to do now is the final die cutting piece, I believe. Yeah, it should be just this one. We're going to use this from the Mayflowers die set. And we're just going to die cut that in white. And run it through again. Oh, table's bouncing everywhere. <laughs> okay, so we should be down. Should be done with our big shot. We can take him off the table, take him away. I'll quickly just 
pop all of these out. You can do this with um, the Big Shot die brush, which I do have, but I seem to always forget it when I when I die cut on video. But that's okay, you can still use tweezers like I've got here. You can use your paper piercing tool as well. Okay, so there we go. Brush all of that off. Got some cleaning up to do. <laughs> Okay, so we've got all of our die cut pieces. What we'll do now is I'll work on the inside, the sentiment piece. And so for the sentiment piece, we're going to need a piece of Whisper White, uh, not Whisper White, Very Vanilla. And the Very Vanilla is cut at three and seven eighths by five and a half. And what we'll do, we'll bring our stamp jig in. If you guys haven't used the stamp -a jig I'm about to show you how. So you've got your plastic piece, you've got your little holder. You would put your plastic piece up into the top corner and along this side so it's sitting against there and against there. And we need, I've forgotten the stamps that we need. We need a brand new stamp set. It is Special Celebrations. It's a two-piece stamp set. It is perfect for insides and outsides of your cards, which is great because I didn't really have much for the insides of my card. So we're going to take this sentiment side-by-side -side together stand. That's going to be our inside. Quickly change them over. Okay. Get our early espresso, we stamp the images, sentiments in, ink it up. Bear with me guys too, this might be a long video because I'm taking you through everything. Okay, so move that out of the way, otherwise my arm will go into it. Making sure that we've got the plastic lined up into our stamp -a jig we're going to come in straight down, straight up. Okay, so bring our card piece back in. We're going to pop our stamped image that we want, where we want on our, on our inside piece, and I think we'll go there. Okay, so we bring our handle back in, pop it into the corner just like we did before. I'll ink up my sentiment again. Holding onto your handle, take the plastic piece away, bring our, oh, I don't know if I've put that upside down, please tell me I haven't. <laughs> That's what you want to check, you want to check, oh, yes, it's not. Make sure to, that your stamp is the right way around before you stamp, that could have come up upside down. <laughs> that would have been good. Okay, so that's the inside piece. The sentiment piece for the outside, We'll take that off because we need that stamping block for this stamp. Pop that away for now. We're done with the stamp and magic. And what we'll do, we'll do the front sentiment while we're here. Pop your inside sentiment piece away. For the front sentiment, we need a piece of very vanilla that we're going to stamp on. And that is three quarters of an inch by two and seven eighths of an inch. And a piece of soft suede that is one inch by three and one eighths of an inch. And that's going to be the backing piece, and this is going to the piece be the piece that we stamp onto. So to stamp onto that one, I need for a special couple. I've got everything mounted for the flowers, but I don't have it mounted for for this one. Okay, so we'll just get a piece of scrap out here. Okay, just to see how that goes. Okay, so ink it up again. And then we're going to stamp for a special couple. My head might get in the way, so I'll bring that down a little bit. You don't want to see my big head. Okay, beautiful. Thought I might need the stamp and jig for that, but I didn't. Yay. <laughs> okay. So, 
while we're here we'll finish up this sentiment so I just get my soft suede out and we're just going to sponge around the corner as you can see I need some new stumping uh, stumping some new sponges stamping sponges and we'll just go around just like that put the soft suede away for now and what we might do is we might stick that down together I'm very disorganized okay pop this piece onto our other piece just using some Tombow okay that's our inside sentiment done our outside sentiment we'll just pop that piece to the side once more take our scrap pieces out I'm just looking for another scrap piece sorry okay just put another scrap piece here what we're going to do now is our front piece so this is very vanilla and this is three and seven eighths by five and a half and now we're going to design the front of our card so to do that let's get out the soft suede once more take the big image from our falling falling flowers step set yes falling flowers ink it up it's a very overcast and it's pouring down rain here in I don't know if I've got my lighting correct hopefully there's not too much shadows for you guys but we'll see okay so for this bit we want to stamp off the soft suede just like that and then we're going to come in and put our stamped image on like that we'll do that again stamping off and then coming in and we'll go about there there's really no rights and no wrongs to doing this okay and then I might come in with early espresso so early espresso and we'll take where's my there it is I'm losing my clear blocks okay we'll take this one and just in some early espresso we're going to stamp that straight on like that and we'll do another one we'll put in there okay and then we will take our soft suede again and we're going to use this at full strength so soft suede and we're using this little image here and we're just going to pop a couple of the little they look like gum nuts I'm not sure what they're called but in Australia we have gum nuts and that's what this reminds me of pop this there and we'll do another one just there okay and then we'll bring in the little flower and I think we'll stamp him in let's do him in soft suede full strength and we'll just pop a couple of flowers in amongst everything Okay, I think that's good. Okay, so that's all we want for the front of our stamping. The next piece that we're going to work on is putting everything together. So let's bring in all of our die cut pieces. Pop that to the side just for now. So we've got our 
leaves will work on these pieces actually and what I do is the blender pen I just get a blender pen and I will drag some of the soft suede color from here and just mix it around a little bit just bring some of that color around so it looks a little distressed I guess you could say it looks a little aged, a little, a little shabby chic, perhaps. So yeah, just bring your soft suede from that image and bring it in and around. Just like that. Okay, so that's what we do with our blender pen and then what we're going to do with this dark image, we're going to cut out, <coughs> pardon me, we're going to cut out just this center flower that we've just gone around and colored. Okay, so we have that little center part. What we're going to do with these two flowers is we're going to scrunch them up. So just willy-nilly, just if you're having a bad day and you're cranky, get your little flower and crumple him up and urgh, I've had such a bad day. <laughs> so yeah, just give him a good scrunch up. We want him to look all old and tethered. Same with this one. We're going to scrunch him up a little bit. Okay, and then we will pop him into the center of this flower. Just again with some Tombow. So there you go, pop him into the center and that's the little flower that we want at the moment. Now onto, sorry I'm trying to think as I do this, bring our card base back in and I normally just lay things around and see roughly where I want them to be. So if we put our little flowers like that. Actually with these flowers I bend them a little bit. Let me get my paper piercing tool and just in the center of them I'll just stick that in there and curl my flowers around it and my leaves I mean. So yeah just give all of them a little a little push as well. It's a little time consuming but when you're not doing this on video it's no problem at all but I think filming sometimes I try to rush everything so you're not sitting here for 40 minutes which this could easily take okay and so then I will take this large piece that I have and we'll start building up on that we have a little doily just a little piece of doily and that's just been cut up and I would say let's put him there our flower will go there okay let's put all of this together so I'll just take the flower first and 
and pop him where I think that was good to go, which was there. So he's now stuck to the doily, and then we'll pop the doily onto here, and we'll pop all of this up. Actually, I've made a boo-boo because I would pop this piece onto dimensionals and lay this flat, but let's just go ahead and pop him onto here, and then we'll pop the whole thing onto dimensionals. Okay, so bring this back in. Okay, and then on the side of this piece, we've got some ribbons. We've got some very vanilla lace trim, which is available in this current catalogue. Um, I've got some very vanilla satin ribbon and some, I can't remember, it looks like a linen ribbon. Both of um, these two ribbons here are retired. The lace one you can still purchase. So let's get some glue dots. And as I said, I'm sorry that if this isn't prepared very well, like I had said, I'm not, I had planned it, but not particularly well. <laughs> okay. Pop him onto the back of there, and then we'll take our lace piece, put him on a glue dot. just behind there as well and our little satin very vanilla piece we'll pop him I believe let's put him onto that linen so it's probably should have done that with the lace because the lace isn't sticking out too well. Let's see if we can fix that up and take the lace and pop him at the front, which I don't think I can do. Bit too sticky. Okay. Okay, so now that we've got our our piece here done, we'll trim that later. Um let's pop everything down. So Get our Tombow back out. Let's just roughly figure out where we want everything to go. That will fit there nice. Okay. Let's stick this down. You could do this with um, glue dots. I'm just going to do it with with some Tombow okay so the leaves are still popping up let's grab some dimensionals and let's pop a little flower piece on so on the back of there there, right there, there. Okay. Take all of this off, all of the backings. just onto there scrunch our flower back up if we've flattened him a little bit okay let's trim trim off our our little flowers okay with the 
piece here, I just grab my bone folder and we're just going to give him a bit of shape. Okay, and we pop him onto some dimensionals. One, two, three. Pop our front sentiment on the on the top just like that okay there's my rabbit chewing okay so to put the card together we're going to layer this front panel onto a piece of crumb cake and that measures four inches by five and five eighths of an inch and I'll just pop him on with some Tombow So we've got a very small one-eighth of an inch frame around that. And then our card base is soft suede and that is five and, th five and three quarters of an inch by eight and one quarter and that is scored at four and one-eighths of an inch. So we'll just, oh actually before we pop him on, I almost made I forgot a step, you guys. How could I forget this step? <laughs> Silly Mel. Okay, so this is what we're going to do for here. We're going to take our early espresso ink pad. We're going to get an aqua painter. We're going to pick up some of that early espresso, make it nice and strong, and we're going to do the flicking technique. Actually, let me... We'll take our lid and let's try and we'll flick from that. <laughs> Sorry, I'm making the biggest mess that's going everywhere. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, beautiful. So that's all you do. I knew everything was going too quickly and too smoothly. I forgot to do the splotching. Silly girl. Okay, clear off my aqua painter. I'll do more of that when I'm done with the video. Now we're ready to pop everything together. Just fold that. All right, now we can put our insides, our outsides everything together. Golly gosh. Pop our front on and once again we've got a little one-eighth of an inch border. Pop our inside in and you guys we're done. Hopefully you haven't been bored. Okay, there we go. So there is a beautiful card made with our Falling Flowers stamp set, our May Flowers dies and our special celebration stamp set all in our current catalogue. There's the outside, there's the inside, a nice little box that matches in with it. So that's a nice little wedding set I think. So there you go guys, hopefully you like it, hopefully you try it. So tell me what you guys think. Okay so I forgot one little step, so sorry you guys, we just have to pop a pearl onto the centre of that flower. 
golly gosh, I forget my own head if it wasn't screwed on. There we go. Now that makes it look complete. Okay, there you go. Don't forget the pearl. Okay, catch you guys later. Bye-bye.